You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. We're joined by Ryan Gadotti, Executive Director of Axis Music Academy. And Ryan, you've been in business for quite a while. Yeah, 23 years in the uh, southeast Michigan area, in the Detroit area, uh, two current schools, West Bloomfield and Birmingham. So Axis, what does that mean? Where did the name come from? Well, it's a good story, actually. So our uh, founder, John Antone, um, started on piano, didn't have very good experience with piano lessons, had a very mean teacher, so didn't like piano. And he was uh, kind of influenced to play guitar by a certain guitar player named Jimi Hendrix. And the album that got him to want to play guitar was the album Access Bold as Love. So we're named after the Jimi Hendrix album Access Bold as Love. That's really? Where that, yeah, that's where the name comes from. How cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you've been in business 23 years. You have two locations. Mm -hmm. And you teach students from every age. Yeah, pretty much two to 99. We've literally had those ages on that uh, early stage, the early ages. It's called music discovery. It's very generalized music. It's uh, having those kids learn just very general and basic so that they can get into a, a regular instrument. We did at one time have a 99-year-old student who took guitar lessons, and he he jokingly said it was on his bucket list. So, <laughs> awesome. you know, he got in there and took some lessons, and we, we had some 70-year-olds call and said, well, if a 99-year-old can do it, I right. can do it too. So, yeah, we've literally had all ages. So what is the most popular instrument that people play? That's a good question. Um, it's kind of a mix, but uh, guitar is very popular, piano is very popular, uh, drums and voice as well. We have a lot of singers, a lot of people who want to get out there and perform, and that's really ramped up over the last probably five or six years. We have a lot more vocal students uh, right now, so we do teach voice. Oh, okay. okay. So you teach voice, you teach musical instruments, mm -hmm. and you also have a new category going on, DJ lessons. That's correct. Uh, DJ and electronic music, um, it's very big. It's, it's very uh, much in the top 40 and what is popular these days. And uh, music education in general has kind of overlooked it. Uh, you can get on YouTube and, and look up software and, and the controllers that DJs use. But uh, there's not a lot of people who teach it. So we want to be on the forefront of that. Uh, currently, we have a uh, gentleman who's worked with Eminem and Exhibit and Jay-Z and a lot of big names. He actually has two Grammys. Uh, so he's kind of teaching DJ and electronic music, and we're going to supplement that as we get more people interested in it. Uh, but we have a lot of, lot of different people interested in that, and it's, it's in popular music. So someone needs to teach it, and Access wants to be the place that does that. So that, those are available right now? Those are available right now, okay. and that uh, is going to expand all throughout 2019. Uh, to various uh, different teachers that we're going to bring on board. So you have had some big names kind of pass through your program. Uh, that, that's correct, yeah. Probably the biggest was uh, Jean Irene, who finished second in uh, American Idol a few years back. She's from North Farmington High School, has had a very successful career. Uh, she did take lessons with us, and as a matter of fact, she stopped taking lessons with us because she was gigging so much. So she's obviously a very talented uh, musician and individual, and uh, we're, we're glad to service uh, you know the community like that and, and help to build uh, students and musicians like that. So tell me what the benefit of music is. Well, there's, there's so many. I mean, music is an art and it's uh, life enriching, first of all. I think that what you can see just in general is a lot of students come in and they learn confidence, they learn planning, uh, they learn to uh, set a goal and achieve it by doing a performance. Um, there's other areas, though, as well, when, when you look at studies that have been done, is that um, students will tend to get a, a grade point higher um, or a grade higher in areas of science, uh, math, and English uh, because of how music stimulates the brain and, and how you have to plan and, and work towards a goal in music as well. So it's much more than learning how to play a song. Absolutely, yeah. There's so much more to it. And I think that when you, you know, for me personally, experience is that you can be someone who's very introverted. And we've seen this happen, and I've seen this happen working at Access over the years, is we've had introverted students come in, and now they're performing on stage, and they're uh, much more comfortable uh, not only in that, but in social settings as well. So it can kind of, uh, you know, go to different areas in your life and help you out with those type of things. So if a kid comes to you, say a seven-year-old or eight-year-old, and they're kind of not sure what they want to play, Play, do you let them try out different things or you know I mean if somebody says well I want to play the piano and then no I want to play the flute I mean how do you get a focus well there, there's we get that often and uh, we do allow um, for students to kind of try things out 
uh, try different instruments out, but a lot of our instructors teach multiple instruments too. So they might start on piano and we might find that, well, I'm more rhythmic, so I'm a drummer or I want to sing more. And if their uh, instructor can do that, then we just kind of switch over the lessons and, and give the students what they want and what they want to achieve in music. Um, you know, but you'll also see students start on an instrument piano and then supplement by taking like a voice lesson or by taking like a flute because they want to be first chair in their in their school orchestra or whatever. So uh, they can explore as much as they want. We're very open to that, and you'll find a lot of students who stay with us end up taking more than one instrument. So more than one instrument, and then also, um, are they performing in a garage for their parents, or are there public showcases? That what, that can be that can be um, part of it. Um, you know, performing at home, performing over the holidays. We certainly had that. You know, with mm -hmm. the season that we just went out of, uh, we do bigger showcases and smaller recitals, uh, kind of everything in between. We do have a, uh, a showcase at Startup Nation in uh, Birmingham on March 2nd, Saturday, March 2nd, so students can sign up for that. So they is that private or public? Um, that is a public thing. Okay. Uh, it'll be a ticketed event and uh, a fundraiser for a nonprofit, um, which uh, the students can participate in. This is something they can kind of put on their uh, resume, if you will, or, okay. or you know, accomplishments if they get to applying to college or whatever. This is something that they can do. Uh, but yeah, it is open to the public. Generally, our showcases are. There, there's very few that are closed unless they're private events. Okay, so you did mention a foundation. Mm -hmm. Tell me just a little bit about that. Well, Access Music Foundation is a 501c3 certified kind of arm uh, of Access Music Academies. Uh, we raise money for students who are in need, whether it's instruments or lessons or both, and we sponsor students with any uh, funding that comes in, whether it's private donations or through fundraisers we do like our showcases or you know maybe a, a startup thing on, on uh, Facebook or GoFundMe or something like that. Okay, so not only are you helping kids learn, but you're also helping other kids yeah, we who wanna, need the opportunity. Absolutely, we wanna reach out to the community and you know the arts are so important and they get cut from schools. And that you also have just families in need. You know, A lot of times the students we sponsor it might be a single parent working two jobs, you know, trying to make ends meet and wanting to enrich their children's lives, but they, they, they don't have the means to do so. So that's the type of people that we wanna help them bring in because you, can, you, you, know, you don't wanna overlook those students. They could be, you know, they could be the next Jimi Hendrix, they could be the next Taylor Swift, you never know, and they just need the opportunity. So that's what Access Music Foundation wants to provide. Okay, thank okay. you so much. No so problem. we'll mark our calendars for <laughs> the public showcase yes. happening. In March? Yeah, March 2nd. Okay, mm -hmm. and of course, give me some contact information. Uh, well, accessmusic.com uh, is our website, and you can get any uh, contact through there. Okay. Accessmusicfoundation.org if you want to make donations uh, to support students. We'd love to talk to any private donors. We can create scholarships in their names even to uh, sponsor students. So okay. accessmusic.com, accessmusicfoundation.org. All right. Thank okay. you so thank much. You. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I used to play the flute, but I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, come in for some lessons. Okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll make that, uh, we'll get you, we'll, we'll get you that that maybe on the next showcase. All right. <laughs> All right. Probably not that soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we've been speaking to Ryan Gadotti uh, from Axis Music. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99, or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.